I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the golden cowl, which you can see here in front of you. This is a one ball of yarn project and it's just a beautifully textured crochet cowl. Uh, the pattern is reversible, it's the same on both sides, and uh, today our pattern is sized to fit an adult, so it's about 12 by six and a half inches laid flat. For our pattern today, we're going to need one ball of uh, worsted weight yarn. I'm using this uh, Heartland yarn, the color is Canyon Lands by Lion Brand. There's about 251 yards per ball, so you're going to need about 250 yards of an uh, worsted weight or medium weight yarn. I also am using a 5 millimeter crochet hook. You can find links to both of these items in the description of the video below. There you will also find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to take a look around. Feel free to, to subscribe, say hello down in the comments, and I look forward to seeing your finished golden cowls. Our pattern today is worked in rounds. So we'll start by making our slip knot, and then by working a foundation chain, your foundation chain will need to be a total of 90 chain stitches. If you would like to change the size of your cowl, uh, you'll simply need any even number of chains. Once you have chained 90 without twisting your chain, join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. So once you've chained 90, Join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then ready to begin round one. For round one, we're going to chain three, and this counts as a double crochet stitch. You're now going to work one double crochet into each chain all the way around. I like to work into the back bumps of my stitches simply because I like the look that it gives on the opposite side, but it's completely up to you. So go ahead, uh, skip that same chain as joining because your chain three counts as a stitch, and then double crochet into each chain all the way around. You'll have a total of 90 stitches including that starting chain. At the end of round one, uh, make sure your chain is not twisted once again, and you're then going to join with a slip stitch in the top of your starting chain. Do not turn your work, we're going to keep working in the same direction for rounds two, three, and four. So, this next round that we're going to work, you're going to repeat. Uh, three times, so rounds two, three, and four. You'll start by chaining one and then by working a front post double crochet around your starting chain. To work your front post double crochet, yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work and insert your hook from the front through to the back, around the post of the stitch, and out through the front again. Yarn over, draw up a loop, Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two more. That's your front post double crochet. You're then going to work a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. To work your back post double crochet, yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work and insert your hook from the back through to the front around the post and out through the back again of that next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. That's your back post 
double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Work a front post double crochet around your next stitch and a back post double crochet around your next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. Join with a slip stitch in your first stitch, chain one, and start again. Uh, do not turn your work at the end of each round. And again, you're going to work three rounds of these front and back post double crochet stitches. At the end of round four, meet me back here. At the end of your round four, this is what your look should look like, work should look like. And what we're going to do is join with a slip stitch into the top of our first stitch, chain one. Now for round five, once again, continue working in the same direction. You'll begin by working a half double crochet into the same stitch as joining followed by a slip stitch into the next stitch. You're then going to repeat that half double crochet into the next stitch, followed by a slip stitch into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. When you come around at the end of your round five, you're going to end with a slip stitch in that final stitch and join with a slip stitch into your half double crochet. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. At the end of each of these rounds here in the middle, you will be turning your work. Now for rounds six, through to 19, we're going to repeat essentially that round five. So you've chained one, turn your work. You'll begin by working a half double crochet into that first slip stitch, followed by a slip stitch into the top of your half double crochet. Repeat that around half double crochet into the next slip stitch and slip stitch into the next half double crochet. Repeat that all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one and turn. You're going to repeat this round until you reach round 19 and then meet me back here here. At the end of round 19, this is what your work looks like from the beginning. We're now ready to begin a nether edging around the top. So for round 20, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch. Skip the same stitch as joining and into your next stitch, work a double crochet stitch. You're then going to double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join or to your starting chain, join with a slip stitch into the top of your starting chain. There is no need to turn your work. At the end of round 20, join with a slip stitch into the top of your starting chain. And now, just as you did down below, beginning at round 2, you're going to work front and back post double crochet stitches. We're going to work three rounds of them. So this is rounds 21, 22, and 23. Chain 1, do not turn your work. Work a front post double crochet around that starting chain, 
followed by a back post double crochet around the next stitch. Front post double crochet, followed by a back post double crochet. Repeat that all the way around. Join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and then you're going to want to repeat this round twice more. After you've worked your three rounds of front and back post double crochet stitches, so at the end of round 23, you will want to fasten off, weave in your ends, and then enjoy your golden cowl. Be sure to check back soon because next week I will have a matching beanie pattern for your golden cowl. So I look forward to seeing you again soon and until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.